I don't have a lot of hair on my leg, bro. These guys always touching each other. Always. Not touching each other enough. No? Not touching each other. Not always touching each other. Where's that? Bob! Bob! Where that nipple at, bro? No! Social distancing, guys. Social social distancing. Damn, nigga. You, you gonna make your... sure of me? Wait, I said whatever the fuck I fucked him. He's a social, <laughs> social dexterine. Like, <laughs> so I don't know what it was. I think that's. Where's my Stone Cold beer? Right, right there, there Ron. Oh, I mean, I mean, I'll comment on the beer. Long ass arms. When we so get here's to my it. first. Here's a uh, uh, bonus. Bonus. We're we're gonna taste test Stone Cold Steve Austin's. Uh, Six point seven percent IPA. Designed by Steve Austin. What? And El Segundo Brewing Company for the working man and woman. It features Citra, Cascade, <laughs> and Chinook hops to deliver big flavor with an easy finish. Now stop reading this, some bitch, and start enjoying this awesome beer. Oh hell yeah! Does it say that? No. I were you reading it? He I added improvise. some shit, but it does. I improvise. A the, oh, I, that the, one sounded very. The good. what I part? Improvise. When he I said improvise. what, I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's going one hundred percent with this gimmick. I improvise. Went all in completely. A little bit. That was that was decent though, man. It's good beer. I mean, oh hell yeah. When I when I drank it yesterday, was it yesterday? I was like, yeah. it, I can taste like it's like kind of fruity. Right. So I guess that's the citra. Like I didn't yeah. dare to look at the. The ingredients or anything. I think it's just cool. I was telling Bob about this. I think it's cool that like this isn't right. just like a a brewing company that just slapped his name on a can. Like they act he actually, from what I read and videos I watched, he actually had a hand in making the beer. Not like physically making it. He wasn't like in there fucking stirring the hops around. But like he got to pick out the he was very hands on the hop varieties and they did like taste testings and he was involved with the taste testings and all that to really kind of fine tune the beer that he wanted to have so that we on. know that this is what stone cold stone steve austin cold says steve to austin drink. picked no because he, he said so back in the day what was he drinking budweiser like when it was, he was, it was a different coors miller Co it budweiser. was cool yeah coors yeah, coors a little, bit, a little bit of them so i wonder does he still drink Coors or does he only fuck with this now? every like, video i ever see of him drinking beer now it's all his beer and that I may mean, be a little bit of uh Plug for his other right. beer and stuff, yeah. but it seems for to the be that's, that's the I mean, but that's like it's totally different taste. Like Coors, oh yeah, is that's like light beer. water comparatively. I like you, Coors. You're you're, you're delicious, but compared this. to the huh? They're not watching this. Now, what if Coors was fucking watching? Excuse me. No, but I'm saying this is obviously IPA, so mm -hmm. it's heavier. It's just yeah, it's you can taste how heavy it is. <laughs> well, El Segundo, I was Stone Cold, you, what do you think about that? It is approved. Are, are you I don't a beer know guy? anything about. I'm not a beer. I You're was, not a beer. Yeah. I'm not a beer guy at all. I don't know anything about beers. Uh, I don't think this actually tastes very good, but it does taste like a beer. So what? Well, so not. time out. So you don't think it tastes good? No. Maybe you don't, you it don't tastes think like a drink, beer. It tastes, do you drink IPA? So, it, it, like so it's not good because it tastes like a beer, and you're like not a beer, beer guy. Because I'm not a beer guy. So that's, that's why the only thing. Right, right. But do you think? Drink? I know this is weird, but do you think if you were a beer guy, that would be a good this, beer? Uh, this would be a good. I beer. know that's a weird question. This would be that a good beer. But if I were a beer, if I were to drink more beers, I would drink Stone Cold. In fact, that wasn't a weird question. There's no weird question. That was a weird fucking answer. You had a, the fact that you had a response. I answered if it. I were a beer guy, if I were a beer right, so guy, like, for example, like I bought this bottle and I did it on purpose. I bought this <laughs> bottle of the cheapest Canadian whiskey for my band, mm -hmm. and I was just to fuck with them, just to just be. It was, oh my god, it's horrible, and I'm not the. If I have to take shots of something, if if it's not like Grey Goose or something like that. It's typically like whiskey, like Jack Daniels or something. But I'm not like a whiskey guy. Right. This whiskey is its the worst thing I've ever tasted in my life. And if any of, I know some of my guys watch this, so they could definitely attest to this. It's the worst. So even <laughs> if I wasn't a whiskey guy, I can tell this is not good whiskey. So that's kind of what I meant by well, yeah, if yeah. you were a beer guy, do you think if I were to drink beer? more beer, because it's not I would just drink straight it more up often. disgusting. Well, what? Right. what be, real quick, what was the name of that whiskey? Let's give them a plug. <laughs> I honestly don't. I don't remember. I don't remember the name. But put it this way, it's uh, what's the standard size bottle? Was a liter? I think it was like I a liter. Know. It's your typical size Probably like, a quart. bottle. No, it wasn't a quart. That's, That's bigger than a liter. Oh, gotcha. I, I, I think it was one Honestly, liter. Honestly, the thought of whiskey was like ten dollars, making me like want to punch niggas. <clears throat> it was ten dollars. Does that do that to you too? 
What? Whiskey. No, I just don't Is like it a different type of, of like drunk? Liquor. Do you get like a different type of buzz with, I don't with whiskey? It. See, like, I if don't... I'm if I'm drinking any sort of liquor, I'm just gonna I know I'm gonna be fucked up. Yeah. Because it's not gonna be like oh, I'm just gonna have three drinks and I'm you know it's not gonna be like that for me. But I'm not gonna be like oh I drink tequila I'm ready to fire nigga. Like, yeah. Because yeah. like, some yeah. people be like oh, I've if never I drink been that, I do that. Right. I'm not. A lot of people are like that. Yeah. I can't just, drink whiskey. I know once I drink and I. And my unless I'm like at a bar or some shit where obviously I'm not going to spend a hundred dollars on fucking alcohol. If I'm at a party, Jimmy's seen this before. You've seen this before. <laughs> if I if it's just basically unlimited <laughs> drinks or no one's gonna be like, oh, you can only have three. I'm gonna just drink man. until I'm right. fucked up, and I'm gonna be like, it's time to sleep, nigga. It's time to, go. It's time gone to close these out. eyes. That's how I. That's how I am. I'm not an angry a person. Mistake. I'm not a. I don't get horny. I don't get hungry. I just want to go to sleep. <laughs> See now, I'm yeah. Not, you don't you don't get mischievous. You right. don't you I'm don't start like think, feel like you're missing something. I mean, at like, some point, I gotta get out. Like, There's something going on, man. If you I just love heard drinking. Jimmy I, just ooh. doing the Undertaker's thing, oh, you heard music. it <laughs> that night before I got to that point because we weren't inside. We were at a. Party. I was a well when we went to the liquor store, which was my idea. They let they. Why the fuck you listen to a drunk person? But we went to the liquor store, and I was I was calling the the the, the, the guy that worked there all sorts of bitches and shit. But other than that, I'm not generally. Yeah, I was harassed. But other than that, I'm not gonna be like, you want to fight, man? You want to fight? I'm not, right, right. You know what I mean? Like, I don't I don't need. To he was just mind. Bob turned up, and if you could imagine, Bob's already turned up on a normal day. So. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Wasn't it something about he didn't like Mountain Dew or something? Wasn't yeah, it Mountain it was Dew like, somewhere? Was, who, who who didn't like Mountain Dew? The nigga that was working at the liquor store. <laughs> like, right, I was, Ron, when I say I was fucked up that night, bro, I remember, that was like 4th of July, like 2016, 15, I was fucked I still up. have the photo, oh. and Can you just Which photo was, was it? Was it the one? It that, was. Because remember, we did a Drunk Bob Hollywood episode. He was it might have been in the. It might have been in the. It was at one of his friends' house. It was at a. It was. Party he was like laid right. out. Yeah, I was laid out. Yeah, in yeah. we have that on the hugging YouTube. The, <laughs> hugging the fucking. We probably um, do actually. Now that I think about it, he was between the railing going, of the balcony oh, shit, and bad, the uh, air conditioning unit. Yeah, I couldn't think of what that was called. And I to say radiator. Literally yeah. just passed out, and I don't know why I thought of this, but I started playing Undertaker's old Dead Man Walking theme music. Uh, right, right when he first went to the American Badass gimmick, and Bob literally stood right up. Yeah, and this like, is mind you, was happening. Mind you, this is we were outside. I was in the grass, done, and he mm-hmm. played it. Got up, and he got right. The and I straight up. up was like, "Don't turn that shit off, bro." Like, yeah, he made it. I don't know how that happened or what was, was going through his I body. I was fucked up that he night. He was very man. drunk that night. Very drunk that night. But see, like going back to the, some people get tired, some people get violent, some people this, whatever. Like, I don't, I feel like I don't have any of that. Like, I don't get tired if I'm drinking. I don't get angry and violent when I'm drinking. I'm just a social fucking, like, butterfly when I drink. I like, will. I, I get not more excited or more animated. Oh, no. Okay, okay. <laughs> we're not going to talk about that one night. Like that is, that is accurate, bro. No, we're not. But, but, no, so I do get, I guess, I do get a little more animated when I drink. Or you, when get, you get, like, I'm not listening to you. Like, not... Not like you like just be like, reckless? I don't want to go home or shit like I that. Reckless. But not, I but think I, I get w- reckless. I don't want to say re- it's just more like you defiant. I'm okay. like, all right, Jimmy, it's time to go. Like I don't, I don't, give a yeah. I don't want to yeah. go, but you yeah. don't put up any fight. If you're like, I don't want to go, I want to stay. But there yeah, you are, like, getting carted off. Like, where, right. like, <laughs> I'm not like nailing my own feet down to the floor. No, like, no, I no. Right. Right. <laughs> I've always been a drinker, and like I've I've not so much the drug side of things. And when I say drug, I mean like you know, your normal shit, like weed or whatever. I, I used Meth. to back in the day, but um, I just I've always been a, a drinker, and I think what has helped me not helped me, but I think the reason why because like some people is like. Because even you have your times where you've been, like, you're like, I'm not drinking right now. I'm not drinking. I'm not drinking. And I'm like, bro, just drink. It's okay. But everybody is different. And some people, they don't know when to stop. Or some people, they can't just have one beer. If they have one, they're going to have fucking They just want to, yeah. So it's like, for me, it's like, I don't know what it is. Maybe I don't don't have an addictive personality with some things. I mean, some things, you know, like I vape. I used to smoke nicotine. Maybe I'm addicted to that. But I can have one beer and be cool. And I can I can get drunk and not do anything incredibly stupid. Mm-hmm. 
And I can, I can, I don't need to drink every single night. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like sitting there shaking if I don't have something. Like I'm not that kind. I've never. I'm 30 years old, and I've fucking been drinking since I was a teenager. Uh, and so it's like you know, like most people, you know, I like think. like most people, yeah, that, right? You know what I mean? So I just love drink. I'm just a drinker. Well, my, I want to go to the. It's never been for me like. I drink one night, like, say Christmas, and get super fucked up, and the next day is like, oh, I'm never fucking touching alcohol again. <laughs> It'll be like, I don't need to do that for a few days. Like, right, yeah. But right. I've never been recover. like a, same way, I don't have to drink every night. If I'm going to drink semi, semi-regularly, it's going to be something like beer, like yeah, a hard something cider, yeah, something like that. Like I'm not going to be a, a mix of drink sort of person, because yeah. like liquor, the thought of actual liquor kind of nauseates me like if i'm just sitting here thinking like yeah if you guys let's take shots i'll take shots because like i can match the energy yeah like what your sister did to me on christmas right I you can, were going but like i'm in. never gonna be at home just be like oh let me mix this <laughs> fucking whiskey sour or whatever and there's nothing wrong with that right. it's just that the thought of that not, is just right. not for me right yeah I, i'm like that with jaegermeister i had too much of a period of time <laughs> where, where you were i was were going in? hard on the jaeger <laughs> This is just be now, one fucking time you learn your lesson. No, I was think. in my younger twenties. I oh, was bad. I, on I've never drank that. I haven't and had Now I smell it, and it just makes me nauseous. I haven't had Jagerbites since I was like fucking twenty, oh, bro. God. Like, and it, I like the taste of it, it but I just okay. remember that night. It was you just like, like that? I like it. Are you a licorice it, fan? It, I like am. I do like licorice. Ugh. I maybe, do like licorice. Maybe that's you why I smelled too? like yeah. it yesterday because I was smashing Jaeger. <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, no, I do like licorice. And it's like, and I never even put those two together, but yeah, it does taste like licorice. The last time but, I had... Oh, I'm sorry. Were you good? I was going to say, I haven't had Jaeger since I was like 20. Mm-hmm. And I just remember the night that made that my last night. I just drank too much shit. Like, not just Jägermeister, but I drank a stuff. lot That's of what Jäger- you And up. I was just like, I never want to touch that one thing again. I know uh, that. and But I do like the taste. I actually enjoyed the taste of it. And it's been... That's, fucking over 10 years since I've had it. That's right. what a lot of people get confused. Like, people that drink, like, here, here's how you're going to... I'm not a drinking expert, but I do know a few things. Here's the thing about drinking. Like, when you mix a whole bunch of different stuff in one night, that's, that's when you're going to fucking puke. That's where you're going to have a bitch and hangover the next day. If you stick, there's two spirits that you can uh, consume in a night uh, separately that you will have no hangover with. Vodka, good vodka, not the shitty stuff, but like good vodka. If you just drink vodka, you're not going to have a fucking hangover the next day. If you just drink tequila, not going to have a fucking hangover the next day. I can vouch for that. Where you get the hangover is when you start mixing said vodka or tequila with those mixers, those sweeteners, those so gonna sweet sugary, too much. Yeah, you're going to yeah. get dehydrated, <laughs> and then you're going to get a hangover, and then you start smashing beers because you're already drunk, so fuck it, why not? And you start doing all this other stuff. That's when you get a hangover and you get sick. Now, I'm sure there's some people that can sit there and say, oh, I took straight shot to vodka one night, and I woke up vomiting all over my... I guess no, people are that. different, but the uh, for the mass majority, that's how it is. Like you, you got to stick to one thing. But no, I was gonna say, like to me, a hangover. I've had one hangover, and that was the night cool. with that Jaeger bomb, with that Jaegermeister. <laughs> but Lord. it was like I woke up the next day and I had plans, and I was just like, "It's Fuck never it. gonna fucking happen." <laughs> like, yep. like my yep. head was just like, "I'm not that's tired. I know I can't go back to sleep, but my fucking head is." Not a headache so much as it's just like it's it just, fuzzy. Yeah, it's like yeah. what the fuck? And yeah. it's like I've only had that once. When it comes to like the throwing up, I do that on purpose. I've never drank and been See, like I can't make myself. I've throw never been like oh I can't keep this in. like how Ron He's had that. Up, I've never had that happen <laughs> with, with with alcohol. It's just like I know I can't put any more alcohol in here. So you know, and make I, yourself and listen, throw listen, up. I know I can't put any more alcohol in here. But I want some more alcohol here. So, yeah. Let me make some room. Yeah. And I'm like, That's impressive. I'm like, all five fingers. Like, oh, and I'm like, I'm that. ready. Like, I you really never do that. Yes. I never yeah. that. Does it take your like your buzz down when you when you? I don't know. I just know I, I have more room in my well. stomach. I just have more room in my stomach for more. Book. Hell yeah! That's that's. Some I'm gonna go shit. until the peeing. That's some warrior well, shit. That's too long. The tea, the pee is more like for like beer, really. Cause you're yeah yeah I guess like, that makes sense. but it's yeah, like I'm gonna drink if stuff, if you've yeah. got me to that point where we're like just drinking alcohol again if it's like basically unlimited if it's like a wedding if we're here or somewhere for a party I'm not stopping until it's time for me to go to sleep and 
very rarely, most times but I see, know when it's time to go to sleep. Time, so right. It's, okay it's, very, it's when you every do. few years. Yeah. And like for the most part, I know it's like the last few times we've had Christmas or New Year's here, I'm like, I'm done. Like I can't go anywhere. There's nowhere for me to sleep here. I'm sleeping in my car or or Christmas actually, I don't remember falling asleep. I remember being outside yeah. across the street puking and Jimmy coming to find me. But I honestly do not remember laying down and going to sleep. I don't know what happened for you to say you saved my life. I mean, I'll be honest, Bob (laughs) has helped me in some situations. That was the (laughs) only time, honestly, I don't remember something. Like, that night we were talking about me hugging that. I remembered everything. Like, I remember some things that definitely aren't going to get mentioned on this fucking (laughs) podcast. (laughs) But I remember literally everything. But Christmas, I do not remember being on that couch. Like, getting to the couch. Bob has literally had me over his shoulders a couple of different times, I think. Literally, Mm -hmm. like... Jimmy is passed out drunk, and Bob has <laughs> draped me over his shoulders and carried me up to wherever I was living at the time and literally have has laid me in my bed and been like, all right, he's cool, he's safe. Like, you know what I mean? Yep. Like, and I, yep. he's done that a, a few times. Yep. And uh, so it's definitely always good to have friends like that. But, um, but I think. The last time he I got... He doesn't know that he received the wicked hand jibber that day. <laughs> <laughs> I think, well, I don't know it. You know? I think the last time I got really drunk was uh, Jägermeister, actually, was involved. Like, I'm saying, because I, I don't drink a lot, but I drink regularly, so I don't get drunk. I just get tipsy, I buzz, whatever you want to call it. Just get right. a, you good want little, to feel good. Yeah, so the last time I was really drunk, drunk, uh, my my band was playing a show at Fishhead Cantina, and I was fucking with my bassist. I wanted to get him drunk because I know that he doesn't get that drunk that often, and especially not in public. Meaning, like, he'll get drunk at like a house party or something, but right. he won't go out to a bar and get shit. Same thing I was saying. So we had a show. We were second to last on, um, mm-hmm. and. Uh, it's a pre-show ritual, at least with my band. I'm sure many bands have this, where uh, we always do shots before we go on stage. Mm-hmm. And um, this particular day, since we were second to last on the show, we had to be there for load-in at like fucking 3 o'clock. And we didn't go on until like 9-something. So we had a whole lot of time at this venue with drinks. And you have sometimes fans will buy you drinks, Sometimes, you know, just whatever, however it ends up happening. Mm. But a guy that I knew um, that uh, used to used to come into my work, um, he showed up and I was already shoveling shots into my bass player because I told you (laughs) I was on a mission to fuck him up and I was shoveling shots into him, beers, you name it. And um, then this guy showed up and he bought me a triple. He bought he bought me a triple of Jaeger, and I didn't ask him for it. He was like, "Here's some Jaegermeister. It's rock water," <laughs> and he bought me a triple. And it's just his cup. I'm pretty sure it was way more than three shots of Jaeger, and I just it's making me nasty. Ugh. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm thinking it. about it. But that <laughs> night, so we got on stage and we did the show. Afterwards, I kept drinking. And my bassist and his fiance and a couple of my other band members, they went on the inside of the venue where the food was. And they were sitting at a table. He was eating. And then all of a sudden, he just projectile, literally projectile vomited all over the table. Got kicked out of the fucking venue. We had already played. Okay, okay. We had already played. The headliner was on at, at this time. Kicked out of the venue. I get a call from his fiance. I'm. I don't even remember this call. She I would told love me. it if that was the night I was there, but I. And I don't think you were there that night. We have a picture, which maybe we can insert this picture all over this segment if we if we use this of me and him together smiling. Neither one of us remember that picture <laughs> at all, and we look totally fine. We're out of it. And Just gone. He got Jimmy's not out. there. She called me. Yeah, not at all. The lights were on, but nobody's home. And she called me and says, "Jimmy, we're we are leaving." Because Stevie threw up everywhere and got kicked out. He threw up in our guitarist's food. So he couldn't eat the rest of his food. <laughs> oh, that was a bad night. But nope. it was a fun night, but nope. it was a rough night. Before we cut, I just want to say I do kind of miss Jaeger bombs. I definitely miss, like, car bombs. Like, Irish car bombs. Those, oh. There's oh. truly in there if you want any more. 
Who Irish garbage? Well, we're about to cut, but I yeah. haven't seen that. I don't know what that is. Um, Guinness, and you just and it's 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 fucking. It's and it's you, oh, it's, it's, oh, you need you um tingly. You need um fucking Irish cream. Time? You need Bailey's Irish, Irish cream, cream. Uh, and it is it, like a sweet just. That's the only way you can get me drink whiskey these days. Probably. We were at Padonia Station one night, and he and I'm gonna say this real quick. He was uh, we were all really fucked up. And he was buying, there was people next to us at the bar, you bought them tequila shots or something like that. Mm-hmm. that was well, huge. they weren't paying yeah. attention, and I'm fucked up because this is another night Bob literally had to carry me to the car. <laughs> and um, I was fucked up. They weren't looking. I took their shots. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I didn't even fucking know that. I wasn't sure if there was another place in New Jersey or if it was just like, that's that one in New Jersey? I fuck it. I can't unless there's a major payday for me somewhere in Jersey. I'm not stepping foot in Jersey. Right. I, don't I hate that, that fucking state. I, don't blame I would never that. ever like that. That state it smells like shit. It, every I mean, it smells like garbage when you drive. I hope somebody in Jersey's watching this. <laughs> you <laughs> you never need to know. Eventually they will. Eventually they will. I don't know if you want to edit this out or not. And I'm not going to go too much on. No man, this is Jimmy. This is Jimmy. I know this is me and all that stuff, man, but it's just, I, and the reason I'm saying this about Jersey, look, I get it. I'm from the South. You can say whatever you want about the South. I get it, right? But I've been to Jersey multiple times and never, ever have I had a positive experience when I went to Jersey, ever. Not I've never, long. I've driven to Jersey once. I've been to Jersey, New Jersey plenty of times, but I've only physically driven through once, and that was when me and Rick were going to go see Louis C.K. And I didn't have any, I don't have any, uh, Opinion towards the place other than that. when somebody from Jersey is driving in front of you, then you have it. But that's different. If you're in Maryland, specifically in the state of Baltimore, because Baltimore's his own fucking Baltimore. shit. No, no Baltimore's his state. own shit. <laughs> if you're in Baltimore and you have a Virginia tag, a New Jersey tag, a fucking Pennsylvania tag, There's Pennsylvania three. gets a pass. They get a pass. There's or three. New Jersey, New York, New Jersey, Virginia. Florida doesn't get a pass either. Florida, Florida doesn't get a pass. No, Florida oh, niggas. I know, nigga. Y'all come up here. Those four states: New Jersey, New York, uh, fucking Virginia, and Florida. But oh, okay. Absolutely fucking Virginia. I want y'all to know that. Yes. Virginia. <laughs> the, way, the way Jimmy is talking about New Jersey, I'm not going to go that deep into Virginia because that's where most of my family lives. But y'all niggas can't drive in Baltimore. <laughs> like, those four please, please don't drive in Baltimore. Go around the no, city. Uh, like, and when I say go around, don't get on 695. <laughs> don't come anywhere near it. If you can see Baltimore, don't drive there. Y'all suck. Y'all are the worst. Y'all are the worst. That is, see, look, that that's is, the, yep, that's, you know, I, yeah, I've been to Jersey because right, they don't so have any U-turns. Me and Bob have went off. Do you have any? They don't have, they don't have any hold, stories. Hold on, hold on. They don't, don't have that. any U-turn for Jersey niggas. Baltimore niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm I, I got to go right to me. I'll Fuck you. In the middle of the street. <laughs> Baltimore is in the middle of the street. I was, I'll be driving this. It's a fucking two-lane highway. One this way, one that way. And I was straight up in the middle of the shit. Whoop, yep. And I'll yep. flip a bitch in a heartbeat. That's just Baltimore. Like It's just how I learned how to drive up right. here. And that's how I drive. We but. we might have some expensive ass insurance rates. but God, do we? But fuck it. Well, at least we know how to drive yeah, around we ourselves. We do. If there's a nigga on the highway going 90 miles an hour, what do you... <laughs> not you. I'm not asking you. Yeah, don't what do you do? Know, if there's a nigga on the highway going 90 yeah, miles an hour, you man, get the man, fuck man, out of his way. Man, and man, then you man. continue going 80. Yep. But you know, so I'm not going 90, though, man. I'm not going to speed it up. I have a theory on that. I, I have a theory. I move out of the way for law enforcement, Fire trucks, ambulances, you know, the the usual. Emergency vehicles. Emergency, th- th- thank you. Emergency vehicles, I move out of the way for. Essential. Anybody else? If I, because I drive like a bat out of hell anyways. <laughs> so, <clears throat> excuse me. If I drive, I'm driving typically in the left lane, 80, 85, whatever the case. I'm driving typically around that, that speed range. If you're riding my ass, I'm not moving. I, I won't move. If you need to go a fucking hundred miles an hour, then you bitch go the fuck around me. Because if in my head, if I move, I'm a bitch. <laughs> and I, his, I'm a bitch. In, in his head, You're not getting, the I'm second not he it. gets out the way, I'm a bitch. And gets back in that left lane as he lets that pass. He's imagining that person just going, like, bitch. Yep, yep, fuck exactly. you, bitch. Get out of my way, you bitch. Exactly. I'm not doing it. Like I'll me, sit right there. I've gotten more doing. aggressive driving. 
Not just because of Corona or anything. Like yeah. I, I have been running red lights if like you a need motherfucker. Work, just go back to our last episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have been running red lights like that's what you're supposed to do because of the Corona because there's less started. traffic. But in general, I I'm, take red lights personally. In general, I'm in the right lane. I'm, I'm not even in the middle of the right lane. Mm -hmm. Just going a little over the speed limit, just you know. Going. And I'm just minding my fucking business. But lately, I have been getting angry. It's like. Why are you going this speed? And I know if someone's not going fast enough, go around. Like Jimmy said, I don't have a problem with that. But when you start doing dumb shit, yeah, like sometimes I'm yeah. behind a motherfucker in the right lane. And they just start going slower. And I'm like, what the fuck, man? We should be in front of these cars to the left. So I'll get into the left lane. Like, okay, judging the fucking rate of speed they were going, I'm going to be in front of you in a no, second. Good. I can get over. Then they want to drive like they got some uh, fucking sense. And I'm like, I'm a bitch today. Bob Hollywood is a fucking bitch today because <laughs> I can't get past. This is some bullshit. But for the most part, I am the opposite of Jimmy. I'm a little bit calmer when it drives. I'm more calm, too. You I'm are calm. on the road a lot, too, mm -hmm. right? Obviously. Yeah. So you don't have any car I'm not stories? like that at You're all. Not like no, that? just the wreck stuff. But just cool, calm. I just, had a woman I today. Yeah, I don't yeah. care. I'm on the road so much, but I, I expect all that. I, can't I had a woman it. today. I had the right away. We're in a... Basically in a parking lot. Cut to him. And I know. So I'm. We're basically in a parking lot. I'm coming from the Target and White. You said today. The day. Okay. I'm coming from the Target and White Marsh. You know how you're going to uh, what's that Campbell? Mm -hmm. If you're going straight towards Campbell, you have that right away. You get that light. Yep. That's I'm not. That's up, where I live. I'm so not up to the intersection yet. Mm -hmm. There's a car. I'm assuming they stopped. I don't know if they fucking stopped or not. It's not affecting me. I'm not there yet. They go. They cross the intersection. Another fucking car. At this point, I'm about to be in the intersection. Another fucking car. I know you ain't stopped, bitch. So I'm honking my horn. I'm not going to put my foot in this brake. Because I got the right away. Horn, motherfucker. I'll yep. um, be in my car honking my horn. Right away. And let me just interject. I honk my horn a lot, too. But for some reason, Bob's a little bit quicker at it than I am. He'll be in my car. Like, tell I don't tell like, bitch to move. I don't like assholes. Man, <laughs> me but like, neither. But like this woman, she cut. She just keeps coming out. Uh -huh, I lay on the horn until, and I go. I have to swerve around her. Mm. Like at this point, yeah, I should just let her go. No, <laughs> I have the right of way. So I come to the red light, <laughs> and she gets to the, the right lane over, and she comes to the red light, and I got my windows. My windows are already down, but I'm just looking, thinking like we about to have this fucking stare down. I'm not. I'm not going to say anything. It's done. The the, the trans. The issue is done. But she fucking <laughs> pulls up, and she pulls up a little bit here, she's but she's like, she's like, me. you should have hit on your brakes. And I'm thinking, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't have a fucking stop sign. And, like, and she drove off before I could finish. And bro, oh. I wanted to follow this bitch. <laughs> like, it took everything in me to not break the law. Like, it was almost, you rubbed into my fucking, my fucking window, bitch, my yep, mirror. Yep. I wanted to follow this I have the fucking right of way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How like, much of an asshole are you that you're going to tell me that I'm wrong for being right? right. Like, <laughs> but I just went about my business, woo side, carried on. But it's, oh, I've watched a lot of videos on like YouTube where it's like top 10 states or top 10 cities that have the worst is the worst at. There's been many, many videos on traffic in Baltimore. And it's like everybody from out of state says that people in Baltimore don't know how to, they're, they're, they, they don't say they don't know how to drive. They say we're too aggressive. We we're, we're too crazy. And yes, I will. You are more aggressive. Yes, we are very aggressive. Up here, man. <laughs> but that's the difference Oof. between somebody like Virginia just doo -doo 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 -doo, taking her time like, like fucking people on those movies were driving like this, just taking her time <laughs> yeah. and shit. You know what I mean? Here's the thing when you get to this city, okay, Motherfucker, we got places to fucking be. The majority of us are we 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 we're, we the reason we take highways all the time. 695, 95, 895, whatever the fuck. We take highways to everywhere. If we got to go to Walmart, you could bet your ass we're getting on a highway to get off an exit to go to Walmart. We're not taking back roads. We're not driving down dirt roads and shit like that. We're going 85 screaming down to go to fucking Target. And my thing is, is that when people come up here, they're too relaxed. They're too like, oh, it's just, oh, look at that. Oh, trees are so, what is that? Is that what the Orioles are named after? And they're just looking at everything. And it's like, get the fuck out of the way. And it's like, when you don't get out of the fucking way, now I'm hot, and now you're making me be an asshole. And if I gotta go around you, like, if you were going slower and I gotta go around you, I'm not putting my turn signal on. 
No. I'm just, I'm just jumping yep. my ass in front of you. And I've done this so and many like, times where I, especially when they are like me, but the difference is I'm going 85, 90, and you're riding my ass. I'm not moving. These stupid fucks are going <laughs> 50 fucking five on a highway, and I'm behind them. They're in the left lane, and I'm like, if you don't get your stupid fucking ass, and I will ride the shit out of their ass. <laughs> and then, literally. And then, finally, if they don't move, I'm like, all right, fuck them. And I'll, I'll fucking cut real hard over so that I hope they're looking at me just cut over real hard. And I'll get up, and I've done this so many times, I've never had anything happen, knock on wood, but I will, I will get just barely past their bumper, and I'll cut right back in front of them. Yep. So they know I'm a two inches away from hitting your fucking bumper. <laughs> I want you to know that I am not happy with the way your stupid slow ass is fucking driving. So I'll fucking I'll just get right in there and I'll take the fuck off. I, when, and, we went to, when we went to Florida for WrestleMania was like three years ago, we made like a left turn to get into some fucking parking lot. And cars, cars are, I don't know fucking yards that well, but they're nowhere fucking near us in the, the, the opposing lane. And they're fucking honking. They're fucking honking when we're turning. <laughs> and it's like, I didn't cut you off. Yeah. I'm nowhere near you. Uh, like, it'd be one thing if it. I just whip that bitch in there real quick and you had to slam on your brakes. If you touched your brakes in that fucking interaction, something's fucking wrong with uh, you. Right. I mean, right. I've been like, I, like, I have family, obviously, that still lives like down south. And I will get down there. I get mad when people are too nice. Like, so there'll be like a. Inter, not an intersection, but say there's like a line of traffic at like a red light. Excuse me. And uh, they'll be they'll be too nice. And they'll let everybody out. Oh no! Go ahead, go ahead, bitch. Go! I don't need you to let me out. I <laughs> oh, got this. Oh, go! Oh, oh, they're too here? nice, and they're just like, go, go. Stop <laughs> fucking letting come, me go. You, it's your turn. You go. Your traffic come stories. in here. So I stopped the food line. So coming here, I turned up on the street, um, not the street you normally come in. If you're just coming up 83, mm -hmm. you make that right. I came up that that one stop right before you get to the fucking diamond, the baseball field. Where I made that mm -hmm. left, and I came up, from yeah, the, all, Alms House Road. Or whatever. Mm -hmm. But we're at the stoplight. I mean, the stop sign. There's an old white man opposing me. Yes, yeah. old white man opposing me. He gets there first. I get there right after. Then a car comes, and they're right there, coming from the way Target is. And I'm just looking at the old white man. Go! And I'm like, on. why am I looking at you? <laughs> you were here first. You were supposed to go. <laughs> and I just went. And then, I mean, it wasn't any trouble. But I'm like, that shouldn't have been that pause. Like, you got there. I got there. You should have went. Then I would have hit my turn. It should... And what if it's food?